The World Health Assembly is set to convene in Geneva this coming Sunday, and as has been the case in recent years, Taiwan has not received an invitation to take part. One governmental and three NGO delegations are converging on the Swiss city to highlight the importance of Taiwan's representation. The government delegation is led by Health Minister Xue Rei Yuan. Local Taiwanese business people are also gearing up for a series of activities in the city. Led by physician Zhang Guanyu, 30 students here are setting off for Geneva. Their schedules were packed, but they won't be going inside the meeting venue. Instead, they'll be outside speaking out for Taiwan. All Taiwanese groups will gather at the WHA site starting at 2 p.m. Various NGOs, including a WHO advocacy group created by the Taiwan United Nations Alliance, will gather there to lend support to the cause. A total of four Taiwanese groups are heading or have already set off for Switzerland. The student delegation was the first to arrive. On Thursday, it was followed by a WHO advocacy group that includes new Taipei City Councillor Chen Naiyu and Dr Wu Xindai. That same day, there was also a group from the Foundation of Medical Professionals Alliance. Finally, an official delegation headed by Health Minister She Rei Yuan set off on Friday evening. As soon as it arrives, it will launch a demonstration to protest Taiwan's exclusion with Taiwanese business groups. Taiwan, go, 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 let Taiwan help. Taiwanese pop artist Ju Topi has already been seen in the area doing a warm-up with Swiss-based Taiwanese business people. Jin Kruzer-Sier, who heads a Taiwanese business association in Switzerland, has plans for a series of side activities during the WHA meet. One of them is a hand-holding singing event with artists including Ju Tolpi and hockey and rock band The Chairman. This isn't a contest, it's cooperation. We will cooperate with one mind to promote our entry into the WHA as an observer. There is a great opportunity this year. At least we in Taiwan have the opportunity to go to the WHA to express our position. The WHA will begin on May 21st, and Taiwan so far has not received an invitation. The AIT has released a joint press release with seven other nations in support of Taiwan's participation in the WHA with observer status. With three and a half years of the pandemic, we have proved that our public health systems and medical systems have enough abilities and energy to make a contribution to the world. They are not taking into account the global pursuit of well-being and public health. They are being manipulated by China behind the scenes. That's what should be condemned. Taiwan's government and NGOs are all mobilizing to support Taiwan's bid to take part in the WHA.